I am not holding Brandon Johnson accountable today. Brandon Johnson, as long as he keeps quiet for the rest of the week, is getting a reprieve. Brandon, you're welcome. All of the people over there in Chicago, you're welcome. All of the politicians over there in Chicago doing the things that's not in the best interest of the residents, you're welcome. You're welcome. But Chicago, it ain't getting no better, y'all. It ain't getting no better. Before we go over and to see what's happening with these city girl mayors, because we're going to bring them to the front of the congregation shortly, I want to give y'all a little bit of update of what's happening in Chicago. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Chicago police are also searching for the shooter who killed two 14-year-old boys who were found dead in a Chatham alley over the weekend. CBS2 is learning their deaths could be connected to car thefts in that area. Our Tara Molina is live from police headquarters. And Tara, you spoke to people who live there. That's right, Erica. And they say they're hearing gunshots and seeing cars stolen constantly. But to have two teenagers killed in the alley nearby, they say something needs to happen to have all of this addressed across Chicago. Now, before we deep dive into this story, Let's take into consideration what's been communicated to us. Gunshots, bullets whizzing, lots of things happening, bang, 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 bang. Teens inside of Chicago doing things that they're not supposed to do. But then they heard gunshots inside of an alley and they found two teenagers, two teens, two teens, lifeless. So on the outset, what do you guys say about this? Before we deep dive even further into the story, I want to get the sentiment in the chat, and I want to understand exactly what you guys think about this. Hot Candy says a lot is going on in Chicago and many places. They're not talking about our world in danger. Need Jesus Christ bad. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What up, Twal? I see you late to the party. I see you late to the party, but good morning. What do y'all think on the outset about this? Two teens found lifeless, uh, bang, bang, gunshots, middle of the daytime. What do y'all think about this so far? What's y'all general sentiment? Could be drug related. Why was they out that late? It was the daytime. It wasn't late. It wasn't late. Them kids killing kids. Sad. Evil is on 3,000. Amen. Hot candy. Watch out for retaliation. Says Andre, okay, Dre, you said watch out for retaliation. Freight train said them kids is killing kids. Huh, somebody sent them on their way as they were thieving. I think the boys got cut up, caught, caught up and paid the price. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. 89th and Cottage Grove. The fellow heard about 14 shots from the next block over. Sunday afternoon, broad daylight. That's why I know once you see red tape man down. In this case, boys. Two 14 year olds killed. Officials have only released one of their names, 14 year old Rashad Dorsey. Andrew Boone lives feet away. He told me he still can't believe it. So when I came past, you know, I seen the bodies laying on the ground. I'm like, I thought they was grown though. I didn't know that they was 14 until like. Ain't nothing like walking past on your way home and then seeing the bodies laid on the ground. What kind of world do we live in to where you in a major city and we just see bodies laying on the ground in the broad. In broad daylight, in broad daylight, you walk home and you see two bodies on the ground. Bang, bang. What kind of world do we live in? What world do we live in? Let's continue. A little later. But the first calls that came into police here. Uh, this one's coming in as an auto theft in progress. A hysterical female states a man is stealing her car. Related to car thefts in the area. About 14 to 15 years of age who are trying to steal the neighbor's vehicle out of the alley. They're all wearing black hoodies, no weapons. They did use something to break the window. So this Young boys, teenagers, running up in people's stuff, breaking the windows, running around with hoodies, threats to society, a woman saying that her car is possibly getting stolen and all of that. They running up and taking people's stuff. And allegedly, allegedly, they have been doing this for an extended period of time, running up in people's stuff. Let's continue. The people that are, the two that are shot are possible offenders. 
Chicago police will not say if the two boys shot were involved in the attempted car theft, if there are any other crimes connected to the deadly shooting, or if they've identified the shooter, telling me they're still investigating. But Andrew says. They coming out early in the morning or late, just prowling. Like the people in the neighborhood, you will see that they comes out and checks on their cars. That's how bad it is. Cars are being targeted in this neighborhood constantly. Like back to back to back to back. The other day I was on my way to work and they were trying to steal a lady car from the church. And while we don't know if the two boys killed here were involved, we do know they are now among the 54 children shot and killed in Chicago this year. 54 between 12 and 17 this year. 54 between 12 and 17. They stealing from the church. They stealing from your houses. They stealing in front of your houses. They preventing you from being able to get to work, preventing you from being able to go and worship the Lord. 54 between 12 and 17 has been reported to have been shot and killed this year between 12 and 17 years old. Andrew says he would like to see more for teenagers to get involved in to keep them away from the constant crime he's seeing in his own neighborhood. Like they need to get them in some type of programs where they can work and get some money or do. I feel like if you get some money, your mind won't be just wasting time. Or, or parents need to parent or some people don't need to be having children in the first place. Here's my question. Here's my question. Because we had a lot of conversation and a lot was communicated on this live or on this clip about the teens and what happened and the red tape, man down, hand down, man down. Shout out to Mark Jackson. Here's my question. Because admittedly, I'm not as bothered about this. I am bothered because our cultural norms are trash. But admittedly, I'm not as bothered about this as I am about the Florida woman from Orlando who is no longer here with us and her children, her children, her four children no longer have a mother while her ex-husband is sitting in jail for shooting at the house of his ex-girlfriend. I don't feel the same way about this one, right? Because what do you think is going to happen if these boys that are able to do harm like men are running rampant in a community terrorizing it. What did you think was going to happen? What did you think was going to happen? Let me tell you something. I grew up with um, a lot of people not familiar with what it is that that's some of my life, right? And I grew up in a neighborhood where we took care of a lot of people and a lot of those people were also uh, long lost family members and I had a cousin right I had a cousin and his name was Reggie right and me and Reg grew up at the same time he was two years older than me me and Reg grew up at the same time two years older than me and Reg chose one path and I chose a completely different path and we were like peas in a pot that was my guy uh, his father, his father was a lawyer. And me and Reg, we took two different paths. And Reg wanted to be in the streets. And he came back and he had on all of this money and all of this stuff. And I'm like, man, where are you getting so much money from? And he said, yeah, man, I'm getting to it. Reg moved out to California. He ran away from home because he wanted to be in the streets. He wanted to go out and do his own thing. And he said that I'm going to be out here in the streets. Reg was out here doing crime and Reg got shot in the back by the police and then my mom had to fly out there in order to bury him. I know too many people, too many people in my real life. Hey, what's up, babe? What's up, Ma? You busy? I'm on a live stream. Um, Not really. Just got here to get my nails done, but I got to wait for a little bit anyway. What's going on, sir? Uh, Can you speak a little bit about and if you don't feel like it then that's okay too can you speak a little bit about red reggie um sure he is my he was my nephew um came to live with me when he was like seven or eight he was very very young and i raised him being your dad um 
he was a typical little boy, and then he um, one day uh, decided to go find his biological mother and well, his his dad. Mm-hmm. I take that back. Let me let me back up. His dad picked him up from my house, uh, picked him up from school, and um, without my consent, and uh, took him away, took him back to him, to his own self, to to be with him. And then at, um, he was 17. Yep. And he decided to uh, go off. Uh, He left my brother and went and uh to all venture out on his own or you know i hear that it was because he wanted to go find his biological mom i don't know because i he was kind of stolen from me um but long story short um he would him and a a group of guys were um robbing a party store was the story i got the police came he started running shot him in the butt and I lost him. He passed. Yep, at seventeen. Mm. Yeah. So, 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 what's uh, what's going on with this story? No, nah, because I'm listening and I'm reading this story about these young kids in Chicago that just, that just got a, uh, you know, kind of, kind of, sort of a similar story, and that they got caught up and they found him in the alley dead. Oh. 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 Yeah. You know, running off to on their own devices. But is, if he was still with me, and his dad never took him from us, he probably would still be alive today. Yeah. Yeah. But he was raised with y'all, so I had five boys actually. Well, uh, there's quite a few others, but that's the that's the basics of 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 Reggie. So. Yeah, that's tripped out. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think about Reggie often, too, but, you know. You got to let that go. Yeah. You know, he was still a child of mine, and so, you know, it's nothing like, you know, you lose a child, that's uh, that's serious right there. That never leaves you. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not affected, you know, in any kind of negative way by it, but that's just something that's with you forever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna call you and talk to you later. I heard Greg flew into town today. Yep, he's here with Chastity and Andre. All right. Yeah, I'll be ve- I'll be out there in a little bit. Okay. All right. Bye. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye bye. A lot of people are not familiar with a lot of the things that other people that you see on these platforms go through. I've seen a lot of people. It's been a lot of people that's come and gone in my life whether it be family members or people that I knew in the hood and stuff like that, and they just no longer with us. They no longer with us. I've seen people that I grew up with, and then you just don't see them no more. I've seen a lot, a lot of people fall off. A lot of people die. A lot of people die around you. And so, you know, when you predicted to not even make it to 21 because of everything that happens all around you, when I see stories like this, I understand what's going on inside of our communities. It's a reason why I decided to stay in my city and continue to participate in the growth of my city. It's a reason why we continue to push forward and why I say the culture is trash because it's been so many people around me that has passed away and died as a result of it. When I speak on women then being in control of their sons, and sons going out to find their mamas and live with their mamas, and then they wind up getting involved in stuff that they're not supposed to be in in the first place. I'm not speaking from a person that's just observing on the outside looking in. I'm speaking from the fact that I know exactly what it takes in order to be able to raise a son or to raise a boy because I've adopted them and I've raised them and I've poured into our community and I see different things that happen throughout society and I understand what it takes in order to raise a boy or raise a man. So when I see certain things happen and I recall different things that's played out in my childhood, my adulthood, 
when I've seen so many different guys come through our household and be raised by my mother and my father and then I be and my brothers are and several of them made it out, but then some of them didn't and some of the circumstances behind it, it comes from an environment where they're being raised in a culture that is not best for them. And this is why I say the culture is trash. I'm not saying the culture is trash because I don't like the music. Yeah, the music is hypnotic and methodical and it teaches you how to look at women a certain way and how to rob and how to steal and how to cook crack and coke and how to measure it and how to take a perk 30 and all of that. But it don't necessarily help you to understand the, the real the real reason why we so down as a culture and as a society is because the proactive steps in order for you to continue to make a better decision don't come. And when you raise children in single parent households and in environments that then teach them how to do the worst things for us, often at times it's going to create a culture that's trash and the children are the ones that's going to pay for the sins of their mothers and their fathers. The children are going to be the ones that pay for the sins of their mothers and their fathers. When these young boys messed around and found out, nobody thought to ask, well, where is their parents? Where is their parents? I guarantee, listen, I would be willing to bet money. I would be willing to bet money that they are raised in a single parent household. I would be willing to bet money that they were raised in a single parent household. I would be willing to put it up that they were raised in a single parent household. The kids are paying for the sins of their fathers and their mothers. And the culture is still trash.